the World Wide Web at TSPNTV.com. live and my name is Shasta and I'm Andrew and this morning we are going to bring to you a few different events that are actually happening this coming weekend and a few this weekend yes exactly and I hope you guys are having a wonderful morning and I'm gonna start off by saying there's actually the hundred and 35th annual Italian picnic um, that's actually happening on June 5th, 6th, and 7th at the picnic grounds in Sutter Creek. And Andrew, you've been there. Yeah. What's your favorite memory that you've ever had there? Oh, I would say it'd have to be, I went once, I went on the Gravitron way too many times. It's not a good idea. You see, kind of start getting... Not feeling too <laughs> not good. Not feeling too good. <laughs> yeah, um, there's actually going to be the carnival, which is happening on Friday and Saturday night with music and dancing till 5 p.m. till midnight. And Friday night is actually the wine and olive tasting, which Andrew can tell you a little bit about. It's host. It's an evening of wine tasting. It's hosted by 12 win wineries and olive oil makers. Um, tickets are just $25, and you can get them at the American River Bank or Vince Aguera's Ravioli Company. And Saturday night, it will be featured a chicken and ravioli dinner that's taking place at 7 p.m. And go make some reservations. And on Sunday at 10.30, um, the parade kicks off at 10.30 a.m. in Sutter Creek. And then at 12 noon uh, Sunday, awesome. there um, will be no alcohol allowed to be bringed in, but you can go ahead and purchase some. So. Mm -hmm. You can still have fun. <laughs> and um, bingo is taking place Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. And you can find out more information um, by calling 267-0206. Bingo is always an Italian picnic tradition. Exactly. I mean, the 135th. I mean, that's quite a few. I don't even know, like, what year that would have started. And that's, like... Not on the top of my head, at least. <laughs> <laughs> yes. And there's also the um, Amador Farmer's Market that's happening as well. Uh, the first one is going to be in on June 3rd in Pine Grove. That is from 3 to 6. Mm -hmm. With fresh fruits and vegetables, um, olive oils that we were actually talking about that's going to be taking place with the Italian picnic as well. Mm -hmm. um, so that's all coming your way. And uh, On June 7th in Jackson, it'll be in front of the library on Highway 49. Mm -hmm. And the first one we're talking about is in Pine Grove from 3 to 6. I don't know if we just said that. but yeah, said that. <laughs> And then, uh, so there's going to be music by Robin Fuller. And um, on June 7th, which he was talking about, it's from 9 to 12. And there's going to be music by Pat Keen and Darcel Hunter. And Cody. Ebert, I think. <laughs> on June 10th, uh, I'll be in Pine Grove again from 3 to 6. Mm -hmm. And they will actually be doing magic tricks and juggling. And we actually went to the duck race, and there's this guy juggling knives and things, and he bent a fork, and, and a that fork. was really neat. So it'd be cool to go watch them um, play some music and do some juggling acts. The last one is June 13th in Sutter Creek. Um, artist Brad the De Deverox is yes. showing and we'll demonstrating his art. Um, and once again, music by Robin Fuller. And so be expecting all of that. Mm -hmm. And um, is there anything else that you would like to say about the Italian picnic of why people should come out? It's always a good time. Uh, it's a good family event. Mm -hmm. Everyone has a good time. We go on the rides, have food. Of course, bingo. Mm -hmm. It's a really good way to spend a weekend. And we're actually going to be there as well, so we would love to see you all, and you can come say hi to us. Um, that would be great. And we are actually starting a brand new show called Teens on the Scene, which focuses on the lives of teens in our community who are impacting people around us. And we're super excited. And um, we actually haven't met too long ago either. <laughs> so our third time seeing each other. Yes, isn't that great? It's great. <laughs> Teens on the Scene will be going out to local teen events mm -hmm. that are having a positive impact on the community and teens and seeing what teens have to say about their community. Exactly. I think teens have a lot to say that we don't really get recognized for mm -hmm. as much. And we're teens ourselves, so we're excited to be able to start this show and to um, bring it out to you guys in our community. And today we're actually setting the scene here in the TSPN studio, which we're excited about. It's and first time here. Yes, so we're going to talk about, um, we're just going to briefly go over the people who we get to actually interview today. Um, you want to start off? We will have Anthony Hanks from Kaizen Martial Arts. And we will have Rolf Hine um, 
from Volcano Theatre Company to talk about the upcoming show, um, mm -hmm. the Great Amateur Carnival of 1886. And we're not just going to be interviewing only teens, we'll also be interviewing adults, adults. as well um, who have things to say for teens, like if it's an event that's coming up that has to do with teens or if it's just something that teens could relate to, then we will be covering it. And if you guys have anything that you guys like to share with us, we'd love to hear from you too as well. And um, So Shasta, you have your own show. I do, other than this. Want to talk about your own show? Sure. <laughs> about that? If you would like. Uh, I actually host a show called Shasta's Journey, which takes place in Calaveras County. And I used to host a teen show as well called Shasta's Teen Journal, which actually started in seventh grade, and so I was 13. And I did that all the way up until... January and then um, after I came back on a mission trip from Mexico my heart was in a totally different direction so I started a new show called Shasta's Journey which is about my path to purpose and along the way I get to meet so many incredible people with stories that could teach, heal, or inspire somebody else so I get to interview all these incredible people who share their um, journey of faith and how that has impacted um, just their path to a purpose and so one of the very first episodes I did I interviewed a Fox 40 reporter and let me tell you, she had an incredible story of just everything that she's gone through to get to where she is now. And so um, the show really just focuses on, like, it doesn't matter who you are or where you've been, but this is where you can go. And What do you think the most powerful, powerful story someone has told you? You know, honestly, there's so many. I so think many. everybody who I get to meet um, has something to share with me. Um, and each person can teach, heal, or inspire me and others. And like I said, it doesn't matter who you are, where you've been. Um, there's somebody out there who needs to hear your story. I mean, that's the bottom line. You have a story to share, and it needs to be acknowledged and heard and celebrated. And uh, I would love to hear your guys' stories. You can go to www.shastasjourney.com or like me on Facebook, and I would love to talk with you guys and hear um, your story. So, Andrew, tell me a little bit about your story. You know, what is it that you would like to pursue? My story? Yes. <laughs> um, I would like to continue in acting. I enjoy that. And this even. I've found that doing television has actually been, it's been a great experience. Yeah, definitely. And your experience is not over yet. <laughs> <laughs> Without only, a doubt. Only just begun. <laughs> I know, I know. We actually uh, were reporting, I guess you could call it reporting, reporting. Uh, hosting, uh, and we were actually jumping in the bounce house. At, That's real uh, reporting. Yeah, the duck race. It was awesome. <laughs> uh, Andrew was like, we deserve an award for this. We deserved a Peabody Award for, for end up jumping in a bounce house. I was out of doubt. That's actually how we ended that segment, <laughs> jumping. Yes, it, it was pretty fabulous. And this and little kid bumped into me and we all just fell in. I actually haven't great. watched that yet. I haven't watched really? It. it was uploaded on my birthday and I was so beyond excited. I it was great. I don't, I don't, I don't want to watch my bits on the show. <laughs> it was great. And, and to like watch our face, like watching that guy juggling knives, it was great. I totally <laughs> forgot his name, but if you're watching, <laughs> hello, you were awesome. And I still have the fork that he bent, which was, it was awesome. I'm Mento. Yeah, I'm still trying to do that, but I'm not like a Superman. So, and his name's Cody, just an FYI, so you know, because he's awesome. And yeah, what did you think of him? Um, I thought it was great. It was good. Yeah, definitely. And there were so many amazing little kids there. And just to see their smiles on their faces was completely incredible. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Is there anything else, um, events that you can think of? Oh, Sobergrad. Sobergrad is coming yes. up. That's on Friday. I think it starts at 9. And we'll actually be covering that as well. Yes. So. You can go ahead and join us there. That would be great. It's good to find it. It's at the uh, Jackson Bowling Alley. From like 9 p.m. till 3 a.m. Yes, getting the whole night filled with fun. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't actually been to Sobergrad yet. I didn't even know what, like, even like, I mean, I knew what Sobergrad was, but what does it consist of? Uh, they usually have, yeah, the bowling alleys open. Um, I think it's free bowling for the night. And uh, they usually have, like, karaoke and mm -hmm. lots of free food. And let's see what else is there. They have. <laughs> <laughs> There's probably lots of food. Lots of food. Yeah. Lots of Hungry food. Hungry teenagers, I'm sure. <laughs> <laughs> and I am actually. I, would it, okay, would you still be a senior if you graduated? Yes, you'd still be a senior if you, even if you just Technically, I'm a senior right now. Well, okay. everyone else there has just graduated because it happens right after graduation. Oh, okay, cool. Then I'm a senior still. You're still a senior. Yes. Yes, I am. <laughs> you mean you get the senior discount? Uh. I guess. Technically, I'm supposed to be a junior, so I don't know. <laughs> and you're a junior, going to be a senior, right? Going to be a senior. Going to be a senior. Awesome. And how do you feel about becoming a senior? I'm excited for my final year. Uh-huh. Almost done. <laughs> yes. 
Well, for you teens that are just finishing up high school, uh, they probably have some serious senioritis because I know I did. Yes, senioritis is a real thing. I looked it up. You, you want to talk about your senioritis moment this morning? Oh, uh, that wasn't senioritis. That was just me waking up and checking my phone way too early. Um, in the morning, I should not have my phone. I should not be able to grab my phone because this morning I woke up and I was like barely awake and I saw this text message that said, uh, I'm not going to be there tomorrow. And I thought Andrew was texting me saying he wasn't going to be here. And I was like, okay, well, like, what the heck? I was going to leave you alone. <laughs> and so I called this number and I have Andrew's name in my phone, so I don't know what I was thinking. And it didn't even sound like Andrew. But I kept going on and on um, talking to this guy, and he's like, uh, just continuing on. And I was like, and I talked to your dad, and he said that you would be here. And he's like, yeah, my dad's number. So that was um, just an epic fail on my part. And after I got off the phone, it was, oh my goodness. So I'm going to make sure I do not grab my phone when I first wake up, and uh, I think that will be the best bet. <laughs> Shasta is on phone restrictions when she wakes up. I think so. So when you wake up, just say it's a beautiful day, and that's how you phone. start your you day. <laughs> yes. Well, I hope you guys are all having a wonderful morning, and uh, we definitely look forward to um, you guys all meeting our guests and hearing a little about who we are because we're brand new. So we figured, you know, you should hear a little bit about us, and we'd love to hear a little bit about you. So. We have a good show planned this morning. Yeah. So I hope you all stay for that. And that would be lovely. See you then. Amador Live.